वेलकम वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन दी नर्वस सिस्टम फिजियोलॉजी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रे मैटर एंड वाइट मैटर बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी वाइट मैटर एंड ग्रे मैटर वी विल जस्ट क्विकली रिकेप वट इज अवर नर्वस सिस्टम एंड दी कंपोजिशन ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेल अवर न्यूरोन्स एंड दी स्पॉटिंग सेल्स द neurons consist of cell body and the axon while our supporting cells are neuroglial cells neurons are our conducting cells while the supporting cells are non conducting cells now we will talk about gray matter what is gray matter basically gray matter is the collection of cell bodies within the central nervous system that is called our gray matter if the collection of cell bodies outside of the central nervous system we cannot call as gray matter we will call them nerve fibers just only nerve fibers this is the basic difference collection of cell bodies within the central nervous system that is called gray matter and where this gray matter is present gray matter present in different parts of central nervous system for example our brain stem the surface of gyri and our basal ganglia now we will see what is cortex what is nucleus the basic terminologies in the neurology cortex cortex is the gray matter applied on the surface of cerebral hemisphere is called cortex now what is cerebral hemisphere cerebral hemisphere is our two parts of brain which are divided by commissural fibers that are called cerebral hemisphere now this cerebral hemisphere when they are surrounded by gray matter that is called cortex and the cortex present in our cerebrum the top part of the cerebrum now we will talk about the nucleus what is nucleus there are two types of nucleus if we say generally what is nucleus first nucleus means nucleus is the house of organelles or basic structural uh, structural functional control system of our organelles and other stuffs but nucleus in the central nervous system means the piece of gray matter which are surrounded by our white matter that is called nuclei or nucleus the nucleus present in the base of cerebral hemisphere that is called our basal nuclei now what is nucleus nucleus is the piece of gray matter which is surrounded by white matter are called nucleus now the white matter what is white matter white matter is the collection of axons within the central nervous system it is called white matter first we talk about gray matter the collection of cell bodies of neuron within the central nervous system that is called gray matter while the white matter is the collection of axons within the central nervous system it is called white matter and the white matter is white in color because of the myelin the axons are myelinated by myelin and axons are made up of schwann cells if our this collection of axon exists outside of the central nervous system that is called our nerve fiber the location of white matter is in the deeper part of brain the subcortical area to be specific also the direction in which this bundle of axons means this white matters move whether it moves upward or whether it's move downward that is called our tracks and the tracks are made up of our oligo dendrite cells which are our supporting cells there are two types of tracks the ascending track and the descending track as we said the collection or the bundle of axon that move upward or downward are called our tracks there are two types of tracks the ascending track and the descending track 
the ascending track taking the information upwards to the central nervous system and our descending track the information or the response to the stimulus from the central nervous system to the downward that is called descending track we will discuss the details of ascending track and descending track in our separate video now we will just overview the basic concepts of everything related to the nervous system next what is commissural fibers commissural fibers are the white matter that are connecting the central nervous system from left to right are known as the commissural fibers as we discussed the commissural fibers are the one who divided the brain into two cerebral hemispheres the association fiber association fiber is the connection of central nervous system from the front to back means anterior to posterior by the white matter that is called our association fibers reticular formation reticular formation is basically it is a nuclei it is the diffuse network of nerve pathways in the brain stem that are connecting the spinal cord cerebellum cerebrum and it also the mediates the level of consciousness the reticular formation is just a nucleus in the brain stem when sensory fiber enters they cross similarly the motor fibers also cross in the spinal cord due to this crossing the gray matter become fragmented for example it become the networks of the gray matter and the white matter so some of the gray matter fragment are lights they make the nuclei that is called our reticular formation thanks guys for watching in next video we will continue our discussion on the physiology of nervous system